doing a video entitled Beauty Trends I Did When I Was a Teen. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't even trend, but beauty things I did as a teen. I'm gonna share with you. Let's go. Number one. So I was curling my hair one day and I wanted some big curls. And I'm like, oh my God, I curled my hair the wrong way, by the way. I was like the worst anyway. You live and you learn. And as I was curling, I thought, oh, I'm gonna curl my lashes. My hair curler takes heat to curl this, so why don't I heat up my eyelash curler? I got my hair dryer and I got my eyelash curler and I decided to heat it up. Now, back then in 2005, I wasn't too beauty conscious. I just kind of did it and if it worked, cool. I heat up my hair, why not heat up this hair? So I did that and I did that and I did that for about five whole minutes until it was blazing hot metal. And then when I went to put it on my eye, I burnt my whole eyelid here. Honestly, legitimately, sincerely, I had burns all here and they scabbed up within a few days and it was horrible. It looked like I got punched right in the eye. I decided I wanted some fleeked out lashes and that's what I did. Nowadays, you can buy a heated lash curler. I don't know if you could buy them back then or if they were even a thing back then, but now they do it in a safe way so you just heat it up and then put it on your eyes and it will you know curl your lashes even more so I do think that this is an effective way to heat up your lash curler and then curl your lashes but honestly do it for like 10 seconds do not hold it there and test it with your finger test it before putting on your eye your eyes very sensitive your lashes are sensitive like don't burn your face off like test it first then put it on common sense tip two a waste of time I feel I would take a paper every single day and my mascara and I would put the paper on my eyelid because I thought my eyelids were the best slayed makeup that was ever ever happened and it was like just legit pure black and not blended I just took a sponge brush and, went, mm, and I thought it was just the flakiest thing ever so I never wanted to screw that up so I took a piece of paper and would do my mascara and I would do this every single day like I thought it was the best trick ever like I would tell everyone you need to do this so you don't get mascara on your eyelids I feel like this is a waste of time because why can't you just be careful like let's just be careful and do our lashes and if we do get mascara on our lids it's not the end of the world wait until it dries take a q-tip and flick away the mascara like it's not that hard I don't know I just feel like this is a whole waste of time a waste of paper a waste of life <laughs> Number three. <sighs> when I was like, I don't even know how old it was, 13, 14 years old, me and my best friend would do this whenever we had a sleepover, which was quite often. I shipped us so much. When we woke up in the morning, we would take two spoons each, put them in the deep freeze or the freezer for about 20-ish minutes. And then when they were frozen, we would take them out and hold them on our under eyes for like five whole minutes or however long we could stand because they were freezing cold. So it was like, painful to reduce our puffiness under our eyes. Now, let me tell you why. There was a movie that we loved and it was called 13. And that movie was basically about two 13 year old girls that would like party and do drugs and you know, do all this bad stuff. So they didn't sleep because they would go out and like do all this stuff and then come home and sleep for like an hour. And then in the morning, you know, they would have puffy eyes and they would do that in the movie. And me and my friend thought it was the coolest thing ever. So we would do it in the morning and we would like literally go to bed at like 9 p.m. and like have a night of popcorn and scary horror movies. That was our night, like we didn't do anything. We didn't even go out, like who are you kidding? Like why are you doing that? You thinking you're the hot shit? And like, oh my God, I was out partying all night. Like yeah, you are with Freddy Krueger and Caramel Corn, like let's be honest. But this one is actually an effective beauty tip. Putting frozen spoons on your under eyes will reduce puffiness, but it's not a cure and it will only reduce the puffiness for I don't know how long. Maybe if you didn't sleep the night before and if you have like picture day or something like that. I'm not sure. Number four. This one is a bit embarrassing and I legit did it. I would do it on the weekends because my mom got so mad at me when I came home from school with this look on. She got so mad. She's like, you're never doing that again. And I only did it on the weekends when I didn't really see her that much. <laughs> she hated this look. So I would just take some simple eyeliner and put it underneath my eyes and I'm doing it messy here because that is how I did it back then. I kind of just went mm, 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 like under my eyes. I never blended it or anything, just put it under there. And then in the middle of my lower lash line, I would do a little bit down and then I would take a simple Q-tip and then I would take the product that's a little bit low and I would push it down my lids to make it almost like 
teardrops, like crying. My favorite band back then was Good Charlotte. Well, one of my one of my favorite bands I had that makeup look, and I thought it was the most swaggiest thing ever. Like, trust me, like I was like dying over it, so I would do it myself. And my mom got mad at me, and people were like, "Whoa, like what are you doing?" And I'd be like, "Just being myself, like peace." I loved it. Yes, you can call it emo or goth or whatever you want to call it. Like, let's not label. But hey, it was my thing, and I rocked it. So it wasn't really like trendy, but. Good Charlotte was trendy for me. So at least once a week, please talk to your dentist before doing this. Don't do as I. I would take my toothpaste and then I would load that shit with baking soda and then brush my teeth because I learned that the whitening ingredient in teeth whitening ingredients is baking soda. So I said, oh my God, like why not just take straight baking soda on my whitening toothpaste and go like that. And oh my God, my teeth were so white. And that's why I did it. I'm like, oh my God, like shing, like super white. And then I went out in the cold winter time and I'm like, ow, ow, like super sensitive. And I bet I lost so much enamel. Oh my God. Like I would do this once a week. Like, I, like honestly, like, would, like religiously, I would put that baking soda on and like scrub Scrub, scrub, scrub my teeth and they would automatically be white, but then I got crazy sensitivity from it. There are some beauty tips and tricks that you, you know, you hear about, but aren't safe or maybe are safe, but you need to do it in a safe way. Don't just like see something on the internet and be like, oh my God, I'm going to try that. Let's put anchovies in our cut and it'll go away. Like, I don't know. Do I regret any of these? No, because they made me who I am. <laughs> Okay guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was a random idea, but thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I love you. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you guys in my next video. Mwah!